that's is just a, it's just a, a, a showcase, all right? We can see the system working, it's just a prototype. Uh, it's just an ordinary tablet, so we see the, uh, the web page, and the welding will start after that. Okay, if you look behind, you see the weld behind the curtains, curtains, welding curtains, and we see uh, both voltage and current being recorded. So we can monitor that, we can store for afterwards processing, for register everything. So the guy just take off the tablet, take his, take his uh, mobile, and start monitor again. I think that that's nice, that's nice uh, for industry monitoring. The guy just monitor. The same, up to now, we, uh, each point can go up to four or five uh, connections at once. It, it is limited by the Wi-Fi uh, broadband. Come on. All right. Here we go. Come on. So that's for wireless communication monitoring. Now let's I'll just go briefly f about vision system because we have a presentation afterwards. So we use a very low cost camera. I can't remember precisely, but it's something like one hundred dollars, perhaps perhaps lower. But it uh, with a system of, with a, the assistance of uh, high power laser diodes. It's not that costly, normally $30 each. We can, uh, we can visualize the weld pool, and by visualizing, the idea is to, is to, to the, 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 the operator uh, sees the welding, sees the weld pool, and performs any correction that he or she may think that will be all right. We just got some trials for TIG weld and MIG welding, different shielding gases, different parameters, and let's see what we got. It's just a, a quick view. Let's see if it's working. All right, all right, here you are. Let's see, she's not. Okay, just nice images. Oh, here we're going for a different welding process, but it basically uh, gas mat work welding. So we clear see the, the joint. Uh, the weld pool, okay, we have, uh, we have uh, some uh, brightness of the arc. We're still sorting out. Carolina will tell us later how we are doing now. But uh, clear for a, uh, uh, an operator, he can control, okay, there's too much metal. Uh, we see the electrode here, perhaps because of the cast and the helix of the process. It's not going straight to the pool, or it's not aligned to the to the joint. Here you see that's a V joint, but it's the idea is okay. You have that image, and the operator controls that. Even for us in universities, that's important because nowadays we don't have too too many students because okay they just prefer to go to uh, work uh, with air conditioner in a nice table. We don't have really good students that go to the the shop and get their hands dirty, but when they see something like that, okay, they get interested and you take your mobile and you control the, 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 the system, they, they really enjoy that, they really like. It's a way for us to, to get good students, let's say that. Okay, uh, finally, the, the third system that I would like to present is a, is a waveform synchronized weaving system. Let's see what I mean by that. Let's imagine the, that, that situation we have a big gap between those two plates. Uh, okay, what a welder does is it goes faster uh, through the opening, through the root opening, and stay longer on the on the fusion side on the, the, the on the on the on the plate. So it controls to not to have a proper fusion here, a proper fusion here here as well there but not let the melt through uh, the molten material. 
So, okay, the welder does do. How can uh, an automatic system, a mechanized system, could do that? Uh, our idea is we, we place a sensor on the torch, and as you, we weaving, it depends if it's pendular or conventional weaving. Uh, when it moves here, it senses that it's here, increases the air current. When it passes through the gap, it reduces the air current, and when it reaches there, it increases the air current again. Or perhaps we may change polarity. Who knows? Uh, uh, reverse polarity, straight polarity, reverse polarity. So we can control the penetration. Or in other case, we have a joint that we have a thin plate and a thicker plate, or uh, uh, could be, uh, in, in our case, it's a tube, is a pipe, but we can do that as a plate. Uh, so you have reduced current, even reduced current, high current, reduced current, even reduced. So you can control uh, all your parameters by, uh, by monitoring your torch. So that we call waveform synchronized weaving. So we make the weaving and we synchronize a desired waveform. How did you do that? By using uh, an accelerometer or a magnet sensor or even an optic infrared receiver. It doesn't matter. You, 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 need to, you need to know where the torque position is in the given moment. We use that for uh, an automatic welding, a pipe welding, but you can even place on the, on the torch with a welder so that sensor could help the welder uh, to avoid uh, melt through or lack of fusion, something like that. Uh, again, we built a, a, an interface based on uh, available sensors. We did not develop the sensors, they're just commercials. Uh, they are uh, specified here. If you wish, you can please like, look in the paper. <laughs> okay, we just tried that for gas metal arc welding, but again, you can try for uh, different uh, ones. We, we choose different programs. In our case, we can choose up to four. Uh, perhaps, I don't know, you may vary up to four programs. It's just an idea. Perhaps you just use two or you just use three. Uh, we did that, so in our case, it varies uh, current and the wire feed speed. Here, it doesn't make too much sense, too much graphics, but uh, it's, uh, we can see here three colors, green, red, and orange. But, uh, it means that we have three programs, and we change the current according to the sensor knows which position the torch is. Okay. Just a quick view of the system. Oh, that's the meaning in Portuguese. Don't worry, please. So here we, s we see that the, so the torch, or the, the sensor, sorry, is placed on the motor, and you see here changing the, the program. It's just three, three LEDs to, to know that we're controlling. And so as it, as it uh, weaves, the torch weaves, it changes the the, the color, which means that it changes the parameter. Our, uh, our limitation is we can go up to, uh, I think, something like uh, 3 hertz of uh, oscillation frequency. Uh, why is that? Because our power source needs 100 milliseconds to change uh, its program every time. So 100 milliseconds, 100 milliseconds. We have at least 200 or 300 milliseconds of that time. You cannot do anything. You just send the command to the power source, and this is it. You just wait that uh, to, uh, okay, here we go. Uh, okay, these uh, were the three systems that I would like to present to you. Uh, by concluding, we can say, okay, our wireless system can monitor, uh, can properly monitor uh, voltage current and wide feed speed. Uh, we're now working with one power source, but I work for a true power source in case we, we would like to, to weld with tandem arcs. Uh, for gas metal arc welding, could be uh, submerged arc welding if you go for tandem welding. And it's based on a web server. So uh, that flexibilize or you have a very flexible user interface. You can use an end device, you can create your uh, data treatment system, system as long as you get the data, 
you decide what to do with that. It's very low cost. We estimate that as in terms of uh, uh, equipment is like 400, 500 dollars in terms of equipment. It's very low. You can find all the, the, the details on the, the paper uh, for the abstract. Uh, for the monitor systems, a little bit uh, more expensive, but not that expensive like a, like a high-speed camera. We try to to use a low-cost uh, available equipment. We use a low-cost camera, uh, low-cost power diodes. It's uh, it's been available for a short period of time because priorly it was a military device. Those diode low, uh, laser diodes uh, to, to for the military is in the dark and such missions. So short, uh, briefly in time, they were available for ordinary customs. So we purchased and uh, we tried to, to use that uh, to monitor the weld pool. Um, we, we did not uh, did any digital image processing. We just let the operator to take the, the decision. Uh, the waveform uh, uh, synchronized weaving we go up to 2.5, 3 hertz is the maximum, 2.5 uh, to be assured, 3 hertz it's a maximum that we go for frequency, but, but it's normal. We normally we use 1.5, 2 hertz, that's with the frequency. Uh, you can select a range of uh, sensors, you can use an accelerometer, a contact sensor or infrared receiver, and we can perform, uh, we can vary your current during your weaving. Okay, we tried that on pipe welding. Our idea is because you start on over or start on flat position down here, overhead or overhead, uphill and flat position. That's tricky to to select just one parameter. But normally, what we do, we select one parameter and pray that it's uh, those parameter go well through all the the the, the pipe. But here, uh, our idea is, okay, you are in flat position, select one parameter, you change from flat, thing, flat to downhill, you change again, and downhill overhead, you change again, you have more freedom to select your parameters and increase your productivity. So thank you very much for your time.